Get your big old mug ready. Big old mug. Because we're going to do some drinking. This is episode number two of our series here. So I hope you liked the first episode. The first episode. And um, tonight we're doing our second episode. So before we get things started, let's get our stuff ready. First off, you gotta have your handy dandy. Handy dandy, handy dandy, bottle opener. Everybody should have one of these. So, get your bottle opener ready. Ready? Alright. The second thing we gotta get, we gotta get our big old mug. Say it with me now. Big old mug. Big old mug. And then, tonight, we're doing... The East Coast Phenom itself, Yingling Lager. Yingling Lager. Yingling Lager. That's right. This is truly legendary. So, first thing we got to do, now that we got our big old mug, our bottle opener, and our bear, we got to get the beer open. Bottle cap off. Bottle openers down. And get your big old mug ready. And get your pour on. Now pour it up. 45 degree angle just so I don't necessarily have all the head in the world on there. Alright. Sniff test. That smells like heaven in a glass, let me tell you. Mm-hmm. Oh, heaven in a glass. Ah, yeah. tell you a little bit about our Yingling Brew here tonight. So, this company is the oldest brewery in America. They've been doing this since 1829. Say it with me now. 1829. David G. Yingling, who uh, is not from here, the name in German, Yingling, means young boy. I know. So obvious, right? Well, David G. Yingling, he came from Aldingen, Germany, which is a town in um, Württemberg. It's near Stuttgart and Louis Ludwigsburg in uh, the southwestern part of the country. You know, Stuttgart, better known for Porsches uh, instead of beer. And uh, he was making beer before he came here. Damn Germans must have been beer. Our first show was a German beer, and now we're doing a um, transplanted German's beer. So, what the hell did they do during Prohibition? Well, simply, they produced a near beer, 0.5%. You know, it's what you would find on the shelves now as a near beer. And they opened a dairy, because Prohibition, dairy products became the big thing. Briars, ice cream... That's how they got their big launch was during Prohibition. And uh, they would operate a dairy and they'd make a wide array of dairy products, including some of the best ice cream, and that's what they said. And they would do that until they closed the dairy in 1981. Yingling has two breweries. 
They got the original brewery in Pottsville, Pennsylvania, and then they have a second satellite brewery set up in Tampa, Florida. And then they distribute across the eastern seaboard in Pennsylvania, New Jersey, New York, Delaware, Maryland, D.C., Virginia, North Carolina, Florida, South Carolina, Tennessee, and Alabama. My nose itchy. <laughs> now, the Yingling guys, now they do seven brews, and we're going to do them throughout the series here. The first one we're doing, of course, is the lager, and this is their classic. This is their flagship brand. This is what they hang their hat on. This is what they hang. This is it. They hang their hat on this. I don't hang my hat on it. It falls the hell off, don't it? Hat back on the head there. And then uh, hang their hat on this stuff. Now, they do seven brews. Now, the lager, its characteristics, it's brewed with roasted caramel malt to give it its amber color and its sweetness. It also is brewed with two kinds of hops, cluster hops and cascade hops. Plus, they use corn in their process. Um, Longer beers and a lot of beers, they use a type of grain, whether it's a wheat or corn or rice, they use corn. And uh, we'll judge more of the products from these guys because they do a premium. They do two light beers. They do their black and tan, which is a mixture of their porter and their premium. They do their lager, a light lager. And uh, they do their Lord Chester filled, which is the original Yingling beer, and it's been brewed since 1929. So, there you go. So there's a little bit about the product. Now, let's get another taste test. You see, it's amber colored, dark amber colored. This is a good beer. You know, once you evolve off of that watered-down crap that you start on that's dirt, dirt, dirt cheap, this is a good way to start getting yourself into finer crafted beers. This is a good, good-looking brew right there. Good-looking brew. Good-looking brew. Now, it does have kind of a sweet taste to it. You know, mildly sweet, really good. I highly recommend it. So, I'm ready to give a verdict. Alright. This is Big Old Mug Approved. Say it with me now. Big Old Mug Approved. Big Old Mug Approved. And you know what? Let's chug it. Chug it, chug it, chug it. And, if we're going to chug, you ain't chugging with no damn handle. Screw the handle. Let's do it. Wait, 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 wait. I'm getting ahead of myself, ain't I? You don't put the cart before the horse, do you? No putting the cart before the damn horse. That's right. Big old mug, you ready? I want you to get your beer right here. Get your beer. Got your beer? All right. Ready? Let's chug this stuff down. Say it with me now. Ziggy zuggy ziggy zuggy oi oi oi. Ziggy zuggy ziggy zuggy oi oi oi. It's even got the line drawer down. So that's it. This Yingling Lager is dead on approved. Uh, approved. Well worth your mind if you can go get it. For everybody else, y'all just suck. Y'all just out of the blue there. Sorry. But then again, we don't get Lone Star beer here, so there you go. So uh, that's it. That's our show for this week. Uh, leave me some comments below. And, uh, that's it. Leave me some comments. Tell me what we should be drinking. If you got any viewer mail, hate mail, whatever, let me hate me. I don't care. Leave it down below. Leave it below. Below. All right. Well, that's our show for tonight. I'll see you all next week. Same time, same place. Hell, we're on the internet. You watch this whenever you want. We'll see you then. I'm
in Alabama. I got that mirror on.